for me personally, that's something that's a bit I don't know, socially awkward. Gaming's always been the kind of place where I felt comfortable. And it was kind of like this in community that was inclusive. And there were just people that were like me and I felt welcome. So I kind of wanted to bring a piece of that to other people. Myself and my partner Mario, we were just wondering what to do really. I, I was pretty unhappy in my, in my profession. A few years back, we decided to try and make a change we, we just had such a big passion for board games. We had board games spilling into our living room, they were on the kitchen table. I was going mad with how many we had. It just made sense to share our passion um, and open up a board game cafe. We started visiting a few cafes, um, seeing if it was something we could do feasibly together and we just thought, yeah, we'll just give it a go. When I take a minute and look back, I think, oh my God, we actually did it. It's not everyone that can say that they fulfilled their dreams. So this is our mascot, uh, Rabble the Dice. <laughs> so he's a, uh, a D20. He went through a lot of iterations, uh, but we're actually really, really pleased with how he came out. D20 is actually just a 20-sided dice sorry, that you mostly use in role-playing games. When you roll a 20 on a D20, it's kind of a, a good thing happens, it's called a critical hit. People, I think, in the industry or in the, in the uh, hobby know a 20 is excellent. So that's what we're trying to achieve, excellency, I guess. We kind of went, scout place out, see if we could do it, and then sort of said, right, where do we go from here? I think one of the first things we did was find Wenda and just sort of say, oh, what do we do? We kind of booked our appointment in and just had the best time and realised that it was, you know, everything it promised on the website. I think from one visit we knew that it was going to provide us with everything we kind of needed. The Wenta were incredibly helpful. Um, I always use their online chat. Even if it's just a little small question, like how do I apply for my premises license, for example, it, they were the best people to direct me to, to where the best place to go for further info would be. I went on a couple of courses and they helped us, uh, myself and Paige, set up our loan as well. I'd never taken a loan before. They kind of really helped like talked us through the process, let us know that everything would be fine. It was just comfortable, so unlike if you're going to like a bank and it's quite formal, like made you feel really welcome and really comfortable and really kind of like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing either, but I got there. <laughs> you know, there was experience behind it um, and, you know, knowledge behind it as well as an informality and a friendliness and a welcomeness that, you know, made me comfortable, kind of brought us in and made us know we could, you know, go back time and time again, which we did. <laughs> They were super helpful and we booked in for some like one-to-one -one sessions um, with a business advisor and that was amazing because even though we knew about our idea and we could see our vision, it gave us a lot of validation when a business advisor understood our vision as well. We've been to quite a few courses, startup courses, finance courses, stuff like that. Um, some of the networking was priceless. We've even been back on courses that we originally did now that we have a better insight into what we're doing. It was really good timing for us um, to have that one-to-one -one business advice. I'm not sure where we would have got it otherwise, to be honest, especially because it was free and we were quite lucky that it was quite local to us. I think we booked in three or four sessions for one-to-one -one advice and it was really, really helpful. We always go for them for any advice that we need, just to see what we could possibly do, what steps we need to take to maybe start a second location or maybe get permission for utilising the basement or whatever it would need they would definitely be the first people to contact. For anybody that's thinking about starting their own business, I definitely would recommend uh, seeking help from Winter. They will be able to you know, see any gaps in, in your um, research or your business plan and give you the next steps of what you should be doing.